Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa Saldariaga and I'm a science educator here at Gumbo Limbo Nature Center. Hispanic Heritage Month kicked off on September 15th and runs through October 15th. The purpose of this month is to recognize the achievements and contributions of Hispanic American champions who have inspired others to achieve success. Here at Gumbo Limbo, we are doing just that by highlighting Latinos in the field of marine biology and environmental conservation, whose goals and accomplishments continue to inspire and pave the way for Latinos who strive to pursue their passions in the same field. Earlier this month, I had the exciting opportunity to meet with Dr. Camila Caceres. Born in Bogota, Colombia, by the age of five, she decided that she wanted to become a marine biologist and by the age of 12, she decided that she wanted to dedicate her life to shark research. Since then, through her studies and field work, she has focused on small scale and sustainable fisheries, completing her doctoral studies at Florida International University, while gathering baseline data on coastal small scale fishing communities and coral reef sharks and rays in five areas of the Caribbean Sea. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the meeting. The first question that I want to ask you is what initially sparked your interest in marine science? Well, actually, I've always wanted to be a marine biologist. I've never really had any other ideas. Uh, so when my parents took me to the beach for the first time in Colombia, it was actually San Andres. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm five years old, and that was the first time I saw the ocean. I kind of mm -hmm. just with it and I always just said I wanted to be a marine biologist since I was five and then around the age of 12 I was volunteering at an aquarium in North Carolina and I started noticing that everybody was terrified of the shark tank even though there's like a six inch you know mm -hmm. dough separating you yeah so around 12 years old is when I decided that specifically in marine science I wanted to do work with sharks nice lucky like to you know be able to go on to college grad school and do all that research and follow my dream nice yeah and so that kind of you know you kind of tied into the next question which is like what led you um to shark research because yeah mm -hmm. you just said how you know being at the tanks at the aquarium everyone's mm -hmm. fears all those myths that are about sharks um what led you to i guess the specific type of shark research that you do Right. So, yeah, when I was 12 years old and I realized how scared everybody was of sharks and I noticed that people didn't react that way to other predators like lions or gorillas, mm -hmm. that really, you know, caused that initial sort of conservation interest in on me of, you know, why are sharks so important? Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't until after I graduated college that I was actually doing an internship at Stanford that I started working more with fisheries and fishermen and more of the socioeconomic cultural side of mm -hmm shark research. Mm -hmm. So that's when I decided, you know, sharks are cool, how they migrate, how they reproduce, all of that is really interesting. But more interesting is, you know, how are humans utilizing them and how can we incorporate that into conservation to make sure that, you know, we create management plans that actually help sharks and help the populations that have always depended on these species. Nice. Really, really cool. Um, so what steps did you take to you know pursue your passions in the field of marine biology touch a little bit on you know your schooling where did you go mm -hmm. what kind of classes did you take that type of thing right so um i went to high school in charlotte north carolina so it was not near the ocean mm -hmm. for high school i kind of just volunteered at the local aquarium to have mm -hmm. that experience with marine life yeah and and, um, you know, I went to college at Duke, in North Carolina, um, although they had a marine lab and I was able to do tons of cool stuff with sea turtles and invertebrates. I did not get involved in shark research at that moment just because I didn't have the opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't until I was actually doing my master's and PhD that I got to have experience with sharks. Mm -hmm. So leading to that, I just took, you know, general marine biology courses. I did take a lot of stats because stats mm -hmm important yeah. um, for marine bio mm -hmm. and um, I just did general biology so I, I volunteer at some primate labs I volunteered at some human psychology labs I volunteered doing crab research mm -hmm. really I just tried to get involved in any biological research that yeah. I could yeah. um, before I got the opportunity to do what I really wanted which was mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and so you went to、um, grad school at FIU. I did, yeah. So I did both my masters and PhD at Florida International University.、Okay. And then that's where you had the opportunity to do more of the shark research. Correct. Yeah. So I didn't really get to handle sharks or learn how to catch them or anything until I was doing grad school. Everything leading up to that was more just behavioral、uh, biology, general marine、mm-hmm. biology,、gotcha. and other things that are important like stats and you know、yeah. uh, languages.、Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Alrighty, everyone. So that is going to wrap up part one of our meeting with Dr. Camila Caceres. I hope you all enjoyed、um, hearing her story, what inspired her, and the things that she did to lead up to her research. And、uh, make sure you join us for part two, where she'll talk a little bit more about some of her findings, some challenges that she was faced with, and also some encouraging words for anybody who's looking to get into the field.